Hello everyone, today's construction day 143. All right, so today we got our air cons uh, getting installed, so uh, that's a big deal. Uh, so uh, just waiting for the guys to get on site. We're here nice and early, and uh, I don't know if they'll get all four air cons installed in one day, uh, but they did text me early this morning and said that they uh, will be on site today as planned and uh, to get those uh, air cons installed today so I'll definitely do some uh, video on of uh, them installing those air cons. Uh, Janelle and I are going to be working uh, some more steps, uh, some more painting going on, there's some electrical going on uh, so uh, definitely a, a few things uh, going on at, at once. Uh, so uh, let's get up to the work site and uh, see what's going on. All right, so our first step, uh, we took the form off uh, first thing this morning, and uh, we covered this with, uh, with uh, roofing material, uh, the metal roofing, just so no rain would get on it. And I'm glad we did because uh, we did get some rain here last night. Uh, so we covered it, and uh, it looks good. You can see uh, it looks good in the front here. Uh, that's just under nine and a half inches, and uh, we'll, we'll dress this up with some more stone uh, up a couple of more inches and then I'll probably end up doing is coming down we did nine and a half I may do like eight and a half so I can control that uh, because this is at nine and a half so I could always come down an inch so we'll see how that plays out and then we'll dress this with some uh, some gravel just to bring it up just a bit but that's just under 9.5 inches so not not bad but we got the second one in place uh, nice and level you can see our bubble so we're good there and uh, as we do this we're going to be taking it a few inches away from these rocks uh, on both sides you can see it's uh, you now the rocks are obviously aren't straight but we're taking it um, about here so we're gonna dig this out and then uh, we will dress it up with these rocks uh, down the sides on uh, on both sides so I think that'll look real nice I we'll have to put some uh, concrete bags down there so we, we don't get any weeds to grow up. But that's the plan is uh, these steps are 160 centimeters wide, 1.6 meters. And that, that's plenty wide enough uh, to go all the way up. So uh, we do have some rebar. So we're getting ready to, to put that in. And there's, there's plenty of these pieces uh, everywhere uh, here in the work site, some short pieces. So we're going to go ahead and use them on the steps all the way up. Uh, stopped at the hardware store this morning uh, bought uh, six six bags of cement so it takes about 1.5 bags one and a half bags for a step uh, so we bought six so we'll just go as far as we can uh, with the six bags and then I'll buy more for tomorrow uh, it's cloudy today and actually it says chance of showers so we don't know if we're gonna get a full day um, but we're going to try to get as many uh, steps in as we can today so we see how that plays out. So plenty of rebar, uh, plenty of cement, um, and I'll just buy, buy cement, you know, daily. Uh, it's right on the way. I mean, it, literally it took five minutes uh, to pick up the, the cement. So we're going to go ahead and start mixing the first batch and uh, do the uh, second step. So uh, just got done with the first step, and uh, Philip, who's been uh, laying here watching me uh, do the step, he got tired, he's exhausted, and he fell asleep. He fell asleep in the sand. So usually when he hears my voice, he uh, jumps, but uh, he's really tired. Sound asleep. So pouring one step instead of two at a time is definitely uh, going to make us a little more inefficient, but uh, I guess that's okay. Uh, but from doing, uh, breaking down this form, moving it up, uh, putting in the rock, uh, putting in the rebar, mixing the cement, and pouring it, I would say uh, all, all together a little over an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes, so that's not bad. So now we're going to see uh, how many steps we can do in a day. It may be one, uh, so usually uh, the cement dries real fast here. Uh, to stand on it, but uh, this is pretty thick. So we went with uh, nine inch steps 
you can see that it's lower uh, than uh, being flush here uh, with the plywood. So we went down uh, to nine inches. Uh, so now the steps all the way up will be nine inches. And then uh, that may change things up top. Uh, we might have to add another step, uh, but we'll uh, deal with that when, uh, when we get there. Uh, but step number two is drying. Hey, Philip, did you uh, wake up from your nap? Hey, Philip. Philip. He must have been uh, playing all night because he's exhausted. <laughs> you awake, boy? Come here, boy. Look at that face. What takes a lot of time is uh, the guys running the electrical wires uh, to the outlets and then the uh, lights that are going to be in the uh, cement board ceiling. So here's an example. You know, they, they run their wires, and this happens to be the wires going to the master bedroom for the LED lights. Uh, there'll be five LED lights uh, in that ceiling in the master bedroom. So they have the uh, conduit. Uh, run so they, they're putting wire uh, in the conduit and you know it's buried in the cement uh, coming down to the panel so what they're doing is they're running the wire to where they want the wire to come out down to the panel and then they will attach that wire to the actual electrical wire uh, that's needed to go up into the walls uh, so then they tie the wire to the electrical wire and tape it. And then one guy, which is the electrician here, PD, has to feed it up through the conduit. And then as Ramel is pulling on it, and then it will just snake that wire up through the conduit that's in the wall, and it will come out up top. And that's only one piece because then they got to turn around and then do the same thing going to the master uh, in another piece of conduit. So that definitely takes time um, because um, actually they pulled one through and it, it came off. Uh, so now they're uh, redoing it. But uh, you can see all the different uh, conduits in the ceiling uh, for the various uh, electrical needs from the generator to the main line uh, to all the uh, outlets all the switches, and then all the lights that are gonna be up into the uh, ceiling. So that's a lot of different runs of electrical. And uh, it's definitely, uh, definitely taking time because all this conduit that's going out to the various uh, spots of the house all have to run back and come down to the main panel uh, to obviously be uh, you know, hooked uh, to the correct uh, circuit breaker. Uh, so definitely uh, taking time, and uh, they're, they're working it uh, one circuit at a time. All right, so the air cons are here. Are you in So the guys arrived on site. Uh, the four air cons. Don't know if they'll get them all installed in one day or not. We'll find out together. Looks like uh, the brackets, my own boontag. My boontag. Three guys here. So I'll get their names. I know John is down here, who's the, uh, the supervisor. And then two workers. I'll get their names here in a little bit. So look at their vehicle, Rockstar Energy. It's their vehicle. This is John. Yeah. John's the supervisor. There's the uh, units. So it's uh, one inside unit, one outside unit, and all their tools. Look at the uh, truck. <laughs> and then of course, follows me everywhere. But they got all their supplies. So uh, it looks like our air cons uh, will get uh, installed today. So uh, Wilma picks up on everything. So she's sitting here saying, okay, the kitchen cabinets are going to be here. 
Uh, so they painted up above, looks great. Uh, but the refrigerator, which is 36 inches wide, 72 inches high, is going right there. So she said, hey, how come the guys didn't paint behind the refrigerator? And I'm like, uh, good point. <laughs> so what uh, Jerome's doing now is uh, the electrical there that needs a little skim coat where they uh, ran the electrical line here. Remember, we did that late uh, just as they were uh, setting the tile. So Jerome's putting some uh, skim coat there, uh, smooth it out, and then uh, we're measured over 1.2 meters, so that'll give plenty of overlap with the about a two inch overlap with the uh, with the uh, cabinets that are going to go right here. So once he gets the skim coat on and it dries, sands it off a little bit, smooths it out, cleans this up, he'll come out uh, 1.2 meters and paint uh, behind the refrigerator to look like the rest of the room. So that's why she's the boss. Uh, she catches all the things that, uh, that I don't. So uh, that'll get done today. All right, so we'll do uh, proper introductions. Uh, so this is uh, Claymart. Say hello, Claymart. Hello. <laughs> this is uh, James. And then the boss is uh, John. He's right over there. So they're the guys that's going to hook us up with uh, setting up our air cons today. And I just had a real good conversation with John. He said to me, um, can you explain to me your electrical? And I said, uh, well, we have a main primary line coming in and our own transformer. And then uh, the line comes uh, buried up. He goes, oh, that's fantastic. Because uh, you know, John is affiliated with City Hardware. So he uh, installs a lot of air cons in this area. And he says that a lot of people have trouble with their air cons because of low voltage. And it goes back to the conversation that I've had on, on video a few times is uh, typically, and I said, uh, this is not everywhere in the Philippines, but I specifically spoke uh, to a, a group of guys from Nerico, which is an electric company. Um, and I had a conversation with them and that's a 25 uh, KVA um, transformer. And they'll put 25 local homes on one transformer. So if you're one of the 25 homes, and that's up to, and I'm sure that's not everywhere, because they did tell me that it should be around six to eight homes uh, sharing one transformer. Now, that is our transformer, so no one will share that with us. So he said, oh, that's fantastic. You won't have any problems. You'll have clean power coming in and not, no problems with surges. But John was telling the story that uh, a lot of the customers, they uh, spend all this money in your air cons and they don't have their own transformer and they share a uh, transformer with many, many people. And let's say, for example, the way John explained, he's, and they use the same thing, somebody welds. You know, one of your neighbors welds and then you get low uh, voltage to your air con units and it's damaging uh, the circuit boards. Uh, so again, um, if you're thinking about building a home in the Philippines, you need to think about that. Uh, not everyone can have a primary line, but uh, in, in the, you know, when you're searching for land, do your best to try to find a primary line where you can have your own transformer. It's, it's worth the money, it's worth the headache, and it's just one more story. Uh, like I said, John just brought that up. He was said, uh, you know, do you have primary power? And I said, yes, we have our own transformer. He said, oh, fantastic. You'll never have any issues. So you know, I just want to bring that up uh, to you guys uh, one more time. All right, so speaking with the guys, they said that uh, Boston Bay product is a sister uh, company of Carrier. Uh, so they're saying that it's the same internal components as Carrier. So uh, that's, that's good news. Um, and for the two spare uh, bedrooms, uh, the units are 1.5 horsepower. So 1.5, and it looks like the first step is uh, they're putting in the bracket uh, for the actual inside aircon unit. So he drilled four holes into the wall and now he's uh, putting uh, cement uh, screws and he's got a level up there making sure it's level. So it looks like step one is to put up the uh, inside bracket. All right, first unit's in, centered to the window. Uh, minimum uh, clearance of three inches to the ceiling. So we got that. So the first unit, the 1.5 uh, inside has been uh, installed. So a little afternoon nap 
after having a big lunch. All right, so it looks like uh, step two is they drill a hole uh, in the concrete, uh, which is behind the unit. So you never see uh, any of the wires or the copper. It's behind the unit on the inside. But they uh, drill and then they put all the electrical and then all the uh, copper lines for the Freon uh, through. Uh, then that's uh, step two. Then step three, they place the brackets uh, to put the compressor. So they're installing the brackets now. And uh, this here is for the awnings uh, for the windows. I've, I've mentioned that before. Uh, the, there'll be awnings over top of uh, the windows. Uh, but they uh, made sure they got up high enough uh, to not uh, impede the installation or the creation of the uh, awnings. But uh, that's step three. So that's what uh, Claymart's doing. And then James is over there doing the uh, same thing. He's working on the second one. So, you know, by design, uh, three of the four air cons, and I'll take the zoom out here, uh, three of the four air cons will have the compressors up high, but on these three panels. So between those two columns will be uh, spare room number one. Uh, between these two columns, which happens to be the spare bathroom, will be the main room, the 2.5 horse compressor, and then the other spare bedroom uh, will be where the other uh, compressor is. And we did that uh, to try to keep the noise of the compressors over here. So uh, we won't have any compressors running in a dirty kitchen. Uh, and three of the four air cons will be on this side of the house just to try to keep the noise down because the compressors do make some noise. But for the master bedroom, we have no choice but to have uh, the uh, compressor uh, under the carport. So there will be one over there. But at least we got 75% of the compressors over here on the uh, spare side. Okay, so sand dune is completed here in the master. So uh, it's a real nice color. Uh, we like it better than the coconut. We were just gonna settle on the, uh, the generic paint uh, coconut that's uh, pre-mixed. And we're glad that we uh, went with the mix. So it's more of a, a, a sandy color, the sand dune. Uh, compared to the coconut, which is more of a, a, a browner color. So this is a lighter, very neutral. So it looks good. So first coat is on. And then uh, I would imagine uh, the walk-in closet is next, which will also be uh, sand dune. All right, so I learned uh, something new today. So with the units, they come with 10 feet uh, worth of copper. Uh, and since we're doing back-to-back uh, -back installations, and we're doing that so you don't see uh, any conduits inside, it's just the uh, flush look, um, you have to use all 10 feet, and I did not know that. So I, I assumed that they would just, uh, you know, use one or two feet going back-to-back -back and just hook up uh, to the unit, but they said they cannot do that uh, because of the way it's engineered. Uh, for cooling with the refrigerant, uh, they have to use a minimum of 10 feet. So you can see what they're doing to use up the 10 feet. They're just uh, putting it uh, in a circle. And then they'll put that in behind uh, the compressor and you'll never see it. So, you know, the Freon has all that 10 feet of space. And it's all insulated. You can see they're wrapping it now. Uh, but they have to use the entire uh, 10 feet, which I was not aware of. All right, so what I mean by the flush look back to back is uh, you don't see any uh, electrical here. Uh, you see some with like electricals here and then you see the wire from the unit coming out and being plugged in. Um, you don't see any of the uh, piping uh, running along the ceiling and then going out uh, anywhere else in the room. So uh, we were going after the flush look uh, back to back. So all the electrical and all the piping is going through the wall behind the unit. So you don't see anything at all, uh, just the unit. So that's, that's what I mean by uh, back to back. All right, so John's telling me a very important step with installation of the air cons is uh, what they call uh, vacuuming the system uh, for 15 minutes. Uh, 
15 to 20. Yeah. 15 to 20 minutes uh, before you put any Freon in the system. So in, in essence, what he's explaining to me is that this goes through and vacuums or takes all the moisture um, out of any of the copper pipes uh, that's in the system. Uh, and that's what they're doing now. So they're letting this, uh, this air pump uh, run for 15 to 20 minutes. And then they're gonna call this uh, vacuum. And then at that point, uh, they'll, they'll put the uh, Freon in, correct? Uh, R34, John? Uh, R32. R32. Okay, so once, once this gets a chance uh, to clean out, uh, to make sure it's dry, uh, then uh, they'll put the uh, R32 uh, Freon in the system. So he said that's a very important step. All right, so here in the main room, that's going to be the look of the uh, Aircon, uh, the 2.5. And uh, what they're able to do is get the piping uh, up above in the uh, attic area, not to mess with uh, what just got painted. So it'll go all the way out, up through the attic space area, and then out that hole right there, out to the uh, compressor. So it looks like they have uh, three of four uh, installed. Air cut number four on the inside is installed, and you can see they're putting the uh, plastic cover on all of them. So the guys gave me uh, two options. Um, they still have like two hours worth of work left. Um, they still got to run the tubing for this one um, and install the compressor for the one in the master bedroom. And then uh, one unit at a time, they test them. Uh, they let them run for uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, and make sure everything's in working order. So, uh, you know, that's going to put us like around 7 o'clock tonight. It's 5 o'clock now. So they gave me two options. We could work to 7 p.m. Uh, or they could come back on Saturday. And I said, no, I'll come back on Saturday. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and put the covers on all of them and, uh, you know, continue to work to like 5, 5.30. And then they're going to stop. And then uh, they're going to come back on Saturday and uh, finish the compressors uh, and then uh, test the units uh, where we're not uh, testing them uh, in the dark. So I think that's the best option.